Alright, setting up the DRO um, to do a hole pattern. Um, this is a Vivor SNS 3V. Uh, it's a three axis DRO as you can see. Um, assuming that I've got the table centered, we'll start. It, it is actually centered, but the, the quill is not centered, otherwise, these would be zero. Um, so, for your hole pattern, you press the hole function and you can set it up for XY, YZ, XZ, XY which is, uh, we're now back to where we started we want XY because we, we don't need Z because we don't, we're not uh, setting it for the um, downward uh, movement so we press enter on that and then it gives you the option to um, center which in this case it's uh, center so these will be zero so you, you're all centered up now and then it gives you the diameter of your circle so this is the diameter of my circle which is 43 millimeters you enter that and then it asks you for the number of holes this is for equal hole spacing by the way it's not for anything else there are other ways you can use it but this one is just for equal hole spacings so that's six number holes okay and then this is the start angle now the start angle if you set it to zero it's on the x axis so you can see it's zero degrees on the x axis well, i would just like to point out that um the zero degrees is to the left of your center point so looking at your table the zero degrees means that the first hole is going to go off to the left it'll be on the left hand side on the x-axis right so your end angle is the last hole before your 360 so if you've got six holes 360 that's 60 degrees per hole so your last hole is going to be 300 degrees okay and then for hole number one these are the coordinates so when you move I don't want to move the table because I've got it set up when you move the table and these both become zero that's the position for your hole number one then you can um, scroll through your holes and do exactly the same thing for each hole you can, you can go back in any order so if you want to go back to one but what I do is I use this I go around I do all of my holes it's set up to optimize the table so that um, you're not going diagonals and that sort of thing it keeps you on the the same X or Y axis if there's another hole on that axis uh, so what I do is I go around I do all of the holes and then when I want to hold when I want to tap the holes out for the thread I just go around again and I have a little um, tap follow follower in the quill uh, to put pressure on the uh, tap so then I go around using this to position the quill for the tapping as well so anyway that's just a little quick short video just to um, explain uh, how you can set up uh, the whole feature on the DRO and then when you're finished you just press the whole feature again goes back to absolute and resets the coordinates that your uh, quill is at before you start doing your whole feature so it doesn't you lose your initial um, settings thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and to show your appreciation for the time and effort put into making these videos please consider subscribing and hit the like button and I'll catch you next time.